What's going on guys, Ryan with Daniel Patrol, back with another figure preview video today. The ultimate Spider-Man collectible from Hot Toys is coming to a collection near you. Let's talk about it. That's right guys, Ryan back with another video today. We're gonna take a look at this, this final suit Tom Holland Spider-Man suit from Spider-Man No Way Home. And I know everybody's excited about it. Even from that like two second clip from the end of the film, everybody's like, I want that suit, I want this suit. And Hot Toys goes, yeah, okay, I'll do that. Meanwhile, meanwhile, no Cassie and Andor, like anything, nothing, nothing from Cassie, no, nothing from Andor. No Troopers, no Mon Mothma, I mean, just, just all kinds of ridiculous. All kinds of ridiculous. However, we're gonna get another Spider-Man. And I'm not, I'm not salty about it. I don't know if you can, I'm, I'm not salty. I'm not salty at all. Just saying. <laughs> I do have some photos of it that was on display over at the uh, Secret Base. Actually, it might've been Secret Base. It might've been their other new flagship store. I forget the name of it. Um, anyways, Pop Collectibles was kind enough to go get some photos of this. If you wanna pre-order this, you can check their link in the description below. There's a discount code if you want to save some money. So huge thanks to them because I did not fly to Hong Kong to take photos. That would be very inefficient on an ROI standpoint. Uh, so they are very kind to help us out. But let's get into this and take a look at this Tom Holland Spidey. First off, congrats to the person who put this in a pose for this actual display that they set up at this event. Congratulations. I mean, the lighting, they got these like pointed directional LEDs. I dig those. I wonder if they're like dimmable. That would be something to be interesting. If you've had different LED spotlights and you could dim them or change color variants and think that would be a, like an up, that would be like a level 10 display uh, to do that. Um, but this thing looks fantastic. So congratulations on the pose. Typically they do pretty well, uh, pretty good spider poses. This one is no different. We're going to take a look at this. We'll break it down with all the accessories. We're going to take a look at that diorama base for sure. And then obviously the head sculpt, which looks unbelievable. Um, let's go ahead and look at what we got going on here as far as what's all included. So obviously we're going to have a masked uh, sculpt with a different uh, feature on that. We'll take a look at that in a second. We got all the normal webs that we've seen at least 25 times. Uh, we've got the normal hands, which we've seen at least 25 times, maybe more. We got the mask that he can actually, uh, the cloth mask he can uh, hold in his hand if you want to. We got change out eye plates, uh, which we've also seen. 22 times, uh, so those are that. Uh, here's all the hand, this is interesting. So we got the normal, uh, you know, the normal cloth mask thing, which actually makes sense for this suit since it's not nanotech, so that is fine. We got all the normal hands. We got our thwipping hands on the front, which I would imagine, yeah, I can see like the, the, uh, the web shooter attachment that's on the back of this. So it's probably the switch out plates that we've seen so many times, uh, if I had to guess. Uh, we've got our web crawling or wall crawling hands. We've got some uh, relaxed hands or cell phone holding hands or whatever other you want to do with this thing. Uh, on some web holding hands. And then obviously we're going to have some uh, other hands that we're going to take a look at here in a second. Uh, fists. There's a uh, fist also on the figure. Down here, there's a photo of this guy. And I think there's another photo of this sculpt down here, but I kind of want to zoom in here. Uh, we're going to take a look at this with a neck adapt this is new this is a new spidey feature uh i i'm i'm in it I, I i'm with it i think uh i think that's a good move i know some people i never made this complaint but some people complain about the neck being like half uh covered and some anyways this, this is the thing we'll take a look at it a little bit I, it's never bothered me but it has bothered some people enough to where you know hot toys decided to uh address it and then we've got this diorama base which Based on the previous diorama base, I just got with the battling uh, suit version from uh, No Way Home. Um, I, that diorama base was less than stellar. This one looks pretty good. This one actually looks like it's got some decent detail on it. Let's see if I got another. Yeah, let me, let me back this up one photo. Um, let's back this up. So we've got nice snow texture going on here, which I think is good. I don't know how that's going to be for posing. If it's going to be slippery, it's going to be grippy. I have no idea. We'll have to figure that out in... 2029 whenever this is released um we got i mean it looks like the paint application is on here it does look a little basic in the brick area um but 
the snow, I think, is a nice feature, especially the snow on top of the handrails uh, going up the ladder. I dig that. Uh, I think this is a cool diorama base. Do you need it? You know, that's debatable. That's debatable. I, I don't think so. Um, you know, I'll get the deluxe uh, because the deluxe version comes with this, this diorama base, and, you know, I just like these things. But would I, is it, do I feel like it's required to get this diorama base and spend the extra dough? Uh, no, not really. I mean, it's not like a, yeah, it's not a wow piece for me. Um, so if you wanted to save dough and you already had 74 other Tom Holland Spideys, you know, you might want to skip that base, but that's your call. You got to make, make that call yourself. Got a nice little, uh, little radiator heat thing going on over here. Or is that a trash can? Can't really tell. Anyways, um, but I, I think this is a better base than we saw with the battling suit um, Spidey that I just unboxed and reviewed, which you can take that video. I'll put a link somewhere for that. Um, that diorama base left a lot to be desired. This one, is a, at least on the appearances from here, appears to be a little, uh, a little more well done, as they say. Uh, but this is what I'll talk about. So the sculpt, uh, the head sculpt again here for the mask again looks fabric, so that's good. Uh, it's not sculpted like we saw with the video game Spideys, and that's fine. I do prefer the sculpted ones, but I get why they didn't do it here. Uh, but we have the neck adapter here, so this neck is actually going to switch out. Uh, where you can switch out for the one they actually have on display with the Tom Holland sculpt, which is unbelievably amazing. Definitely a big win on that one. I dig this very much. Oh, let me back this up one thing for those wondering. Yes, there is a seam. It is right here in the middle, going down the middle seam. So um, yeah, we've seen that before, no big deal. This head sculpt, by the way, flipping 10 out of 10, like 10 out of 10. Is the neck change out a uh, little swap out piece with the half up uh, suit? Is that, is that making it even better? Yes, I think it is. I think it is. Rolling eyeballs. And I've got plenty of photos of this from different angles. Rolling eyeballs. So you can have him actually look wherever the hell he's supposed to look. I love it. This is a 10 out of 10. I mean, it just, it just is. The texture is on point. The expression is on point. The sculpt is on point. The hair paint application is on point. I, I have zero complaints about this sculpt. Like zero. I mean, from that angle, beautiful. From this angle, beautiful. I mean, Tom Holland through and through. Look at this thing, man. It's, it's beautiful. I mean, 10 out of flipping 10 for the Tom Holland sculpt. So there were some questions. I saw this floating around is uh, what was going on with this neck thing and is this a fixed neck? And based on this right here, I don't think it's a fixed neck. A fixed neck. Uh, I think we'll have a ball joint there and it'll swivel around. However, if you'll notice this hair on the back, this hairline, and then you got the jawline, is there gonna be a lot of range of motion, you know, uh, front and tilting up, looking down, all that? I, I don't think so. I don't think there's gonna be a lot of range of motion on there. I'm not upset about that for a head sculpt, but I, I think you're gonna run into hair hitting the neck and you're gonna cause uh, paint smears and transfer from the hair to the neck, and that's going to be a thing. And, and then you can already see right here on this neckline where the uh, the mask or the suit is coming up. Is it going to tear like that? Are we going to have rips, or is this just prototype? It's too soon to tell. It's too soon to tell. Uh, but I do think that's something that we'll have to be mindful of later whenever we actually end up um, you know, getting this figure. The, the way they sculpted the neck cutout. Looks like it fits in line with the webs of the suit. I dig that. I think that's a cool look. Uh, I am a little curious how that's going to play out, uh, if there's going to be any damage. Another angle, just gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Yeah. All right, I want to back up to this one if I can uh, and take a look at the suit material. Um, we've got a... New uh, spider logo design without any crazy colors. It's just black. Actually, I want to back up. Let's go back to this one. And and I don't think, uh, yeah, it, it looks it looks better here. I dig that. But look at the texture in the blue sections. Like we've seen the texture in the the screen printing on the red sections, and it's beautiful. We that's normal. But this metallic blue they've got going on. I mean, it's just not. Look at it. it's it's just you got striations going 
horizontally. You've got them going diagonally on the arms. You've got this like cut out lightning bolt thing going on here. I mean, there's so many details going on around this suit. It is crazy good. I mean, just look how the light's playing on this thing and the way it matches with the red. I mean, this is 10 out of 10. This, if you were going to get one Spidey, is this the one to get? That That's the question. If you only had one. Now, me, I've got way more than I need. Um, and I'm okay with that. But it's, this one's hmm, it's pretty freaking good. It really is. It really, it really, really is. I, I like everything about it. I like everything about it. I mean, you can let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. I think this is a flipping home run. Head sculpt, probably. It's tough to say if it's the best head sculpt we've gotten from Tom Holland because the previous one's pretty flipping good. It's definitely a more mature head sculpt, so that's cool. Uh, but we get the rolling eyes. That's a feature we have not had. We got an updated neck adapter connector thing going on here. And we got a vibrant, beautiful suit. The only question is deluxe, non-deluxe. Which one do you guys say? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. If you want to pre-order these, check out Pop Collectibles. Link in the description below. As always, click what you like. See you next time.